hi guys welcome to the joy of four youtube channel i hope everybody's um doing great and just a friendly reminder that if you are having a bad day remember that a bad day or a bad week a bad month or even a bad year doesn't mean a bad life <laughs> This YouTube video is going to be about baby must have. So the reason why I want to have, I want to do a baby must have video is because, of course, I just had a baby right now, and it's just when you're pregnant, that's one of the things that you search up the most. Like, what do I need to keep this human baby alive? Not only that, but we are in quarantine, and I have a strong feeling that nine months from now, we're gonna have tons of little humans walking around. So let's get started. So first on the list is baby diapers, Clarissa what diaper do i buy for the kids there's so many options i personally go with honest company and the reason why i go with the honest company is because they list other ingredients they're organic and you know baby skin is very sensitive so you want to make sure that whatever's going to be touching the baby skin is something that has minimal ingredients and you know doesn't irritate the okay, skin. so next one on the list is baby wipes so again the same with the diapers um perfume baby wipes babies are more prone to have like allergies or like um uh rashes due to their little sensitive skin you know especially in that area so we want to make sure that we you know get a sensitive wipes let's say that you get a whole lot of uh scented wipes and then your baby got a rash next on the list is diaper cream must have you have to have to have diaper cream because babies they're so sensitive and you you hear my little baby um uh so you want to make sure that you get a diaper cream. I use Baby Bum Coconut Balm. Anything with coconut is super good for the skin, super hydrating. And I use Burt's Bee Baby uh, Diaper Cream as well. Um, is Honey Base so good? I love them. Uh, so diaper cream very important. Next on the list is feeding. So I breastfeed my child. I started also pumping because eventually, like a lot of other mommies, uh, I have to go back to work, and so I. I want to make sure that I have a good supply in the freezer so I did start using the electric pump and not only that but also having a manual pump is very important so whenever you're running those errands and you don't necessarily have baby on you or you're at work you want to make sure that you are keeping the same schedule that you would have at home so an, ele an electric pump is very important too and also a manual pump with breastfeeding make sure that you guys get the baggies the storage baggies it's just a regular baggie to store and breast milk um there's a lot of brands i use the nano baby baggies uh so the choice is up to you guys next on the list is this bottle cleaner so you do uh, obviously need um your separate cleaning stuff for your baby because you don't want to go ahead and use the same stuff that you use on your regular dish um because it has like germs and stuff so you do want to get something that's going to be able to reach the bottom of the bottle um to be able to clean next on the list is an a drying rack so you want to make sure you get a drying rack again separate from all of the other dishes you want to make sure you keep baby stuff separate from yours uh or from the family stuff just because babies are a little bit more sensitive you know and um so yes i get the grass i love this i don't know why i love the color but this is where i dry um a baby's bottle next on the list is a thermometer so these bad boys are very important because you know in the first few weeks of the baby's life you know the baby's getting used to the environment the everything the weather change you know he it's a whole new world a whole new world no joking a whole new world and so you want to make sure that you get a thermometer to make sure the baby you know doesn't have a fever or you know make sure you're monitoring the baby's temperature next on the list is baby bottle so i use the nano baby i also use avent um you want to make sure that you buy a couple of different brands just because it's up to baby what bottle the baby likes next on the list is a burping cloth you want to make sure that you have a couple of these because you know whenever you're burping baby and you have a cute outfit on you want to make sure the baby doesn't throw up spit up on top of you or whoever's burping the baby 
babies do spit up a lot in the beginning you know the little stomach is getting used to um all of this craziness and now they're having to feed through their mouth which they weren't doing inside the womb so a birth cloth cloth so you need a washcloth so whenever you're bathing the baby you make sure that you have a washcloth for the baby to be washed and clean and yeah a washcloth this guys is a baby lotion you know we want to make sure that we keep baby skin hydrated and moisturized especially in the first few weeks of life where baby's going to be peeling and shedding that womb skin i like to call it <laughs> um so yeah baby lotion obviously i use mine next on the list baby wash and baby shampoo so i use the honest company again burt's bee and also the sham moisture Moisture brand again all of these are natural uh they each have their ingredient listed and i am a sucker for that <laughs> and because this chunky little baby wanted to join my video um i had to go ahead and get her <laughs> say hi say hi so next on the list is a baby pacifier so especially for you breastfeeding mommies you want to make sure that baby's not using you as a pacifier if you're a stay-at-home mom and you have the luxury to do so then that's fine but for moms who are working or, or even moms who stay at home and have other kids and can't just have the baby on the boob all day you make sure you get a good pacifier so that the baby can soothe herself while you get dinner done or you take care of other babies or other you know big babies like dads <laughs> who need your attention as well next on the list is a baby swaddler so baby swaddler these are your best friend literally baby swaddlers are your best friend so this the baby swaddler's job is basically to soothe the baby <laughs> while you get things done around the house so babies you know it's very traumatizing to them to come to this world because it's cold and i'm naked and now i have clothes on and i can't hear my mom's heartbeat or the whooshing of the you know fluids inside of her i can't hear her voice as often you know so swaddling swaddling a baby helps them because it makes them feel comfortable and, and just like something is holding them Tight. Next on the list is a receiver blanket. Want to make sure you get a couple of these. These bad boys are good for a lot of things. <laughs> Clean up, throw up, <laughs> whatever the baby spits up on you, and you don't have a rag or the burping cloth. These bad boys come in handy. Also for the summer, when the baby's in the car seat, you want to be able to cover the baby up with something, you know, or in spring where it's not really cold but it's not hot. You know, then you have a receiver blanket. Um, you want a couple of these. You want to make sure that you have a quilt, you know, um, especially in winter, um, just to keep baby warm and to go out and run your errands. You want to make sure you have one of these. Next on the list is a suction thingy ma jigger. <laughs> when babies are born, they're born with a lot of yuckiness inside of their nose and all of that. Not only that, but they're breathing oxygen and there's a lot of pollen, a lot of stuff on the outside where so baby's gonna be sneezing, baby can become congested, or even if baby gets sick, you wanna make sure you're able to help the baby and pull out all those nasty little gunks inside her nose. So there's this one, the one that the hospital provides, and there's also the Frida, which is a lifesaver. Also guys, another thing on the list is a teether. As you can see, baby girl is munching, munching, munching on her finger because because she's actually teething as we speak so a teether is a must-have as well Next on the list is a boppy pillow you want to make sure you have a boppy pillow so here's here's the many benefit of a bobby pillow bobby pillow is good to put baby on tummy time bobby pillows are good to lay baby if you want to help the baby sit up a little bit bobby pillow helps you breastfeed bobby pillow is just amazing you need one of those guys next on the list is a bathtub a bathtub you want to make sure that you have one of these bad boys because you don't want to hold the baby and could just drop her, it could slip out of your hands. You don't want to actually lay her down in the actual bathtub just because bathtub has a lot of germs. Next on the list is um, a stroller, which 
I it's too big to bring into a uh, view so uh, there's a stroller um, also a car seat a car seat should be number one right because hospitals will actually won't let you leave until you have a car seat also a bassinet I do put um Luna in a bassinet and I will keep her there until she's six months and then I would transfer her into her crib also a crib a crib mattress next thing on the list is a bouncer uh so bouncers are lifesavers as well because you can lay baby there most of them vibrate and they play little music and it just suits the baby while you get stuff done around the house next is a swing so again these are lifesavers they help you get things around done around the house you can lay baby down and the the swing suits her or him yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. And last but not least, um, the most important one is a loving mommy. And that money cannot buy. Mm -hmm. You're going to do great or you're already doing great. So make sure you're loving your mm -hmm. baby because they grow up so fast. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I hope that this list is helpful. And yeah, guys, God bless you guys. Love you guys. And please like. Oh, she's grouchy. Like and comment and subscribe. Bye guys, bye.